Hello, hello. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to edit these files that I have the Fusion 360 file uh, uploaded to the website. The first thing you're going to do is go to the All Access link. Only the All Access uh, subscribers are going to have access to the Fusion 360 files. So you'll click the All Access link. It'll take you to the All Access page. Then download the file. You're going to have the zip zip file right here. It's going to have the Fusion file inside of it. You're going to open up Fusion. Then you'll go File, uh, Open. Then you're going to go find that file. You have to take it out of the zip file. It's going to see this cute turtle light editable F3D. That's going to be the Fusion 360 file. Open that. And then here is the model. So what you're going to do now, open the sketches, open the bodies, because you're going to need these. So I've made this sketch titled Editable Text. Some of them may say Edit Me or something. Just it'll, it'll be the one that you know you need to edit. So from here, you'll right click and then Edit Sketch. Now you can come to the text, double click on it. And then now you can change this to whatever you want it to say if you want it spaced out more. Uh, that other one was four letters, uh, so I'll make it different because you're going to run into this. So I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll be six characters if you put a different name. Uh, then you're going to hit OK once you get whatever you want in here finish sketch so you see how some of them are different than the others so the new bodies are gonna be right here the new what it wasn't previously before so which is gonna have the black body black body and then these two are here so how you differentiate those you'll click these I have the folders for whatever colors and then a words so you click on this one, that's going to be a black. So just drag it over into the black. Click this one, that's going to be a letter. So you're going to want it to go in the words box. This one, that's going to be another words box. So you need to separate which colors you're going to want. And then after that, just open up the words. Click the top one, hold shift, click the bottom one. And then now you can change the colors. Click A, go to whatever color you want. If you want to change it, you can right click, edit, whatever you want to do. Uh, but I want this to be white. Uh, I just edited the wrong body or the wrong color. So I'm going to do undo on that. Let's do this again. So A, ABS white. I need to click shift hold shift click drag the color you want over to these bodies drop it and now they're all the right color close now what you can do is come back and re-export the bodies so now you need to hide everything except for one color at a time so we're gonna export the black uh, okay, so it's unsaved. You're going to need to save this before. It's not going to let you do it unless you save it. So save. Cute turtle light editable. Uh, I'm going to have to rename this example because I already have this in my files. Save. So it's saved now. Now it will let you export. Right click. Save as mesh. Make sure this says STL. Make sure this says one file. If you do one file per body, you're going to get a ton of exports. You don't want that. So one file, refinement, make sure that says hi. OK. Now you're going to name this black. And then you're going to put it in the folder that you want it to export to. I'll just put it in my downloads. Black. Now you go to the next color. Green. This one wasn't affected, but we'll just do this for good practice. Go down each color, right click, save as mesh, OK, same steps. 
green, save. Next color, white, file, save as mesh, OK, white, save, hide that one. Next, the words, which is what, you're, what you've changed, save as mesh, OK. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'll just put words, save. Uh, the backplate and a diffuser, those are not going to be affected by this, so don't even worry about those. Then you can bring these back if you want. And then save the file. Okay. Now you have all of the bodies you need, including the new name or phrase, whatever you put on there. Now you need to open Bamboo Studio. New project. Now what we're going to do is I usually make a couple extra plates and then name them whatever I'm going to put on them. It's just the way I do it. You don't have to do this. Back plate and then the new bodies which you just exported. So colors. So from here you'll either go add go to your where you saved it and then you're gonna select them all open load these as single object yes and they're here now you can go to objects the words I'm gonna want them white the white obviously white green we will set that to color green black we will set that to color black and click and now you're good now you need to flip this over lay on face flip it you need to drag your prime tower where it's not in the way and this is now ready to well it's not ready to slice and print yet you need to change your settings your wall generator make sure it says arachne go to others make sure you have no brim uh, if this one doesn't really have any tight corners, but if you have a, a design with tight corners, you're going to want to make the flow ratio. The default flow ratio is 0 0.98. I have mine set to 1.04. That way it fills in the gaps and corners and little tight spots. Then slice it and send it to the printer. And that's all there is to it. So whenever I'm checking these, if I have tight corners, I'll slice it and then I'll come down here and make sure there's not a lot of gaps all over the place. This one is a pretty simple design, but if you have a whole bunch of tight corners, you'll see them right here. So in order to import, you go add, make sure you drag everything in here. So add, get them all open. Another way you can import these is to have a folder open and then you can go to all of those files select them all and then you can just drag them into place and it's going to ask you the same question load these a single object yes and do the same same steps uh, if you have these set up already you can just do one uh, push the number on the keypad and it will change to that color uh, good to go Oops, I uh, accidentally drugged that off. Uh, undo, click off. Now if you click on the, the whole body, it, it you can drag it around. But if you have one of these individually selected, you're going to accidentally move it. So make sure you don't uh, take those out of uh, alignment or else you're going to have a bad time. That should be it. Just remember to make it face down and you're good to go.